Our second piece of advice is to keep the balance. This balance that I outlined is critically important for the kind of work that we're doing. When we're taking the long view, the futurist vision is very important. When we're trying to make changes, we have to work within our local reality and recognize our own agency and the fact that we have to make decisions. We're the ones who have to try to move the agenda forward and to believe that we can make change happen in our class and in our schools. Third, cultivate collaboration. We keep talking about collaboration in this unit, and that's because it's so important. It's very difficult for an innovator to go it alone. You need support. You need connections. Local collaborators can be developed through education. By teaching your local colleagues about technologies, and helping them get started. Sometimes it's slow going at the local level, however, and in these situations, national and international collaborators are extremely important. These collaborators can be developed through various online connections that you make, such as the connections you've made through this online course. In addition, there are professional organizations that teachers can connect to, in the U.S., there's an organization called Calico, Computer Assisted Language Instruction Consortium, which is all about technology and language teaching. In Europe, there's an organization called Eurocall. In Asia, there is PatCall. There are many, many of these regional organizations. There is an international organization called WorldCall, and it has a conference every three years. In addition, though, to the technology organizations, our language teaching organizations also typically have a technology section. TESOL has a special interest group on tech and technology in language learning. IATEFL also has a technology section. TESOL is based in the U.S., and IATEFL is based in the U.K., but for any language teaching organization that doesn't have a technology section or technology interest group, you're probably the person who needs to start one because you're not the only one who's interested in technology in language learning. In addition, there are professional publications, particularly language learning and technology. Some of the course readings came from this publication, really available. It's a good professional journal, the kind of journal that many of the main people in this field publish in. And you can have it. It's free on the internet. There are other publications out there, but I would target this one in particular as a place to go to look at possible collaborations and organizations to connect to, because it's an extremely good one. These were just a few ideas on collaboration and I'm sure that you can think of many more.